Welcome to Artwork Evolution. This is an application that creates art based on your visual preferences. I'm going to go ahead and open the top rated album here. This is a great starting point if you want to explore the world of art. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and select two different images down here on along the bottom. And so I'm going to hit the select button up in the top right corner. And so then I will select each of the images that I want to morph and create some variations of. With these two images selected, I can hit the evolve button in the bottom right corner. And when I do that, it's going to create 100 variations of these two images. And I can look to see if any of these new patterns that emerge are interesting or something that I would like to use as a wallpaper for my iPad or my iPhone. I'm just going to scroll down here. So there's one up a little bit that I kind of enjoyed, and I'm going to select it right here in the middle. Now, since I'm in the selection mode, I can't see the large preview, and so I'll hit the cancel button along the top, and then I will tap on the image to see the larger image. What you're seeing here is a low-resolution version of it. It will be updated with a, a mid-resolution version, but it's not going to be super crisp. So if you want to use this as a wallpaper, you're going to need to render a higher res version, which is going to take a little bit of time. In the bottom left corner, you can select the render wallpaper option. And this will ask you if you want to do it. If you say yes, it will take anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds to complete. And so what's happening in here is that there's a math equation that represents this image. And it's kind of like a, a vector image. And what it's doing is it's calculating a much higher resolution version. On this iPad, it's going to do 2048 by 2048 pixels, which will give us enough pixels to use as a, a background on our iPad. Now, when we go to set the iPad wallpaper, it's going to sort of zoom in a little bit. And so we can determine where we want the image to fill. And I also have an option where you can stretch the image so that it, it takes up the full bounds and it's going to skew what we see here, but it's another option that you have. Now in the bottom left corner, we have a couple options to save this image. And I'm going to go ahead and save it to my save album so that I can recreate this or use this in the future. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look and at the very top of this pop-up, you'll see that it says the large image is rendered. Now when the wallpaper image is complete, which is going to take a few more seconds, that will update and then we'll know that we can save it to our photo library to use as a background. All right, so that just updated, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit Save to Photo Library, and now we have an image, once I hit Original, that is going to be much higher resolution. So I can zoom in to show you that we have a lot more pixels here, and so this is gonna look really crisp on the iPad when you set it as a background, and I can show you in the Settings app, you can Go to the wallpapers and brightness, tap on the image that you want to change. We select the camera roll. And then at the very bottom, we have the latest image that we just created. We can zoom in if we want to, to just sort of play with the size and shape. And then once we find uh, orientation that we like, we can set this as our wallpaper for both. And now we have a crazy new background image.